There we go. Right. Today, we're going to do some hips. Uh, we're going to look primarily at the butt and the groin. Uh, we're going to move to start off with and uh, just get some blood flow going. Then we're going to trick our nervous system. Uh, if our nervous system is going to hold us back, we want to loosen that up, free that, uh, allow us our range of motion. And then we're going to go and do some static holds. Um, so our, our nervous system is freed up. We can sink deeper and, and hold for longer. And then uh, once we've found our, our deepest range of motion, then we'll do some activation. Okay, so we'll try to get to that end range of motion and then encourage the muscles to work uh, to sort of reinforce that position and allow that to be a little bit more permanent. Okay. And then... Uh, We'll finish off with something fun. <laughs> uh, any aches and pains before we start? Mark. Great job. Fantastic. In that case then, we are going to start off with a horse squat. What a horse squat looks like is absolutely nothing like a horse. We're just going to go nice and wide with our feet. We're going to squat ourselves down and come back up again. We're going to do 15 of those. Take your time. Just explore that range of motion. Careful as you go down, that back stays straight rather than letting it curl away over. Nice wide stance, pushing your knees over your ankles. Taking your time as you go there. If you feel that point where your groin starts to give you, give you grief, just push that a little bit further. So what we're doing there is we're freeing up our groin a little bit, uh, encouraging it to open up and uh, free up that movement. We're going to do something similar for our butts. We're going to set an ankle on our knee. We're going to sink ourselves down like a Hawaiian squat. If you need to have a chair behind you, you could do the same movement, sitting down onto that seat and then come back up. Let's try five on each leg. really trying to push your ankle hard onto your knee so you're encouraging your butt here to do some work A little bit wobbly, this one. <laughs> okay, what do we reckon? Do that once more, or uh, are we feeling freer already? I'll do it again. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. Andy. I like you. <laughs> Let's go legs nice and wide. Let's do 15 of our horse squats. It. try and see if we can sink that a little bit deeper this time really encourage those knees to stay out over the ankles rather than collapsing in weight still stays in the middle of the feet rather than in the heels or in the toes Might need to take this piece off in a second. It's getting pretty toasty. Once you're on your 15 of those, then onto your Hawaiian squat. Let's 
five on each leg. Tricky enough, Joe? Uh, yeah. <laughs> sure. Okay. So, uh, say it again. The squat felt a bit better than the first time, though. Good. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll we'll be doing multiple rounds here of each of our kind of stretchy things, and hopefully each time we do it, the second time will be better than the first. And um, so first thing we're going to do, we're going to go. You know, wide stance this time, toes will be slightly forward. So we're trying to have the toes parallel. We're gonna bring yourself over and like cradle those elbows. We're gonna swing side to side. Just trying to keep your legs fully locked. So from the side, instead of the legs being bent, lock them out so that as you rock, you're uh, tricking that nervous system into relaxing your hamstrings, your obliques. We'll go for about 30 seconds. Is that another ten seconds? And relax. All right, so first thing we'll do is, uh, or next thing we'll do, sorry, is we'll get into a butterfly position. So here we're looking to sit on our bum, feet together and heels pulled in towards the groin, okay? If we're in this kind of position, I would highly suggest slipping something underneath your butt to raise it up a little bit so we can get that nice flat lower back rather than hunched over. At this point, I am going to strip because it's very warm. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, once we've gotten our position, what we're going to do is, like a butterfly, we're going to flap our knees. Okay, we're trying to hold our torso nice and stable. Just a little flap. And uh, again, we're just playing with the nervous system here. We're trying to get it to free up a little bit. Encourage the butt muscles to do some work. Encourage the groin to release. Nice. And then we'll go onto all fours. We're gonna go wide with our knees. We're trying to get a nice straight line from one knee through your hip into the other knee. So down here. And there we're gonna walk ourselves forward, trying to press that hip towards the floor. And then we're gonna walk ourselves back, trying to push the hip towards the floor the other way. Notice how I'm trying to keep my back neutral as I go, rather than letting it like dump away on there and then dump away the other way. Let's try and keep it nice and flat. Just gonna rock back and forth. Encouraging that pelvis to move independent of the thighs. Probably feel worst as you push back towards your heels. But still careful to keep your uh, feet pointed out, your shins parallel, and not have your knees too wide. If you feel any grinding here, let's bring your knees in a little bit. We just want it to be uncomfortable, but not uh, not agony. Alrighty. 
Let's go back up then onto our feet. We'll do one more little circuit of that. So legs nice and straight. We'll go for a little swings. Three, two, one, and begin. Keeping the knees locked. Trying to reach right the way over. And trying to keep your hips level rather than letting your hips twist. Okay, don't worry if your body is up quite high, kind of right here. That's okay. Just trying to flatten out that back a little bit. So we can start to get into the obliques, the groin and the into the butt. And relax. Back into our butterfly again. If you need that little uh, podium to sit on, that's cool. And we'll do our flaps. See if we can sit up that little bit taller through the lower back. Head nice and tall. Even if you're holding on to your feet, trying to pull your chest through. So your chest is in front of your arms. Really bouncing those knees. And then we'll finish off on our frog rocks. Knees nice and wide. If you imagine your feet are on the floor, so they're kind of flat like that. And then you can rock. Keeping your shins nice and parallel. Ease and back and forth. Not moving so fast that you don't get through your full range, but not taking so much time that we're uh, allowing the nerves to strain too much. All right. Take a little look at those two positions again. And this time, instead of moving in them, we're going to hold those positions. And the idea is that uh, now that the nerves have realized uh, what a range of motion is that's safe, we'll hopefully get more out of these by uh, relaxing the muscles a little bit. So the, it's going to be a minute hold of each. The first one is going to be our butterfly position again. We're just going to do versions of these movements today. Um, trying to pull the knees down as wide as possible, sit up tall. And then if you're mobile enough, then really reach forward as far as you can. Now, hips is one of my weaker areas, so I won't be reaching forward. I'm just going to be trying to sit nice and tall. All right. Let's go. Three, two, one, and begin. But pull the knees down wide. We're actively engaging the butt here to try to pull the knees to touch the floor, all while keeping that nice tall chest, tall lower back. Teaching all those muscles to work. Keep your body safe through that position. You guys feeling this in your groin okay? Yeah. Definitely, yeah. Oh, definitely. That's a good answer. I like that. And they're in my good books today. Bonus round in the warm up, and then a very, very strong word. <laughs> That's it. As we get deeper into the stretch or longer into it, let's try and get deeper. Let's pull out wide. And relax. All right. So, same idea in our frog stretch. Nice straight line between our knees, our hips, and our knees. We're going to go again for a minute. Three, two, one, and begin. Here, what you can do is you can look uh, 
down and kind of eyeball the distance between your groin and the floor. Over time, you'll see that distance hopefully get less. I like to look at the uh, inside skin of my thighs and see how close I can get that to the floor. At one time in my life, I had it touching. That was an exciting day. But that took about two years to get there. That's it. Not necessarily squeezing the uh, the big part of your butt, but the deep muscles. Ones connected in at your uh, at your thigh. And relax. Ease out of it. So kind of an odd, odd position. It's like instead of trying to just pull your knees out wide, you're actually trying to like push your hips forward and like create space between your pelvis like that rather than just pull your knees out wide okay and that's where those deep muscles come in right in here they're really gonna pull out that's how i picture it in my head i don't know if that's actually helpful or not <laughs> so let's go back let's do one more round let's go into our, our uh, butterfly position and you can play around uh, with your feet further out if that helps you get a better position and maybe even get forward you can try that and we'll go for one minute. Right. I feel like when my feet are further out, I get a little bit more IT band than I do uh, groin. I feel that kind of stretching out. Uh, it's the outside of your thigh, if you think like the quad, the line along your thigh, uh, if somebody's standing up, like, see that kind of line? Yeah. That's your IT band. A lot of runners have very tight IT bands, and they might be able to tell us a little bit about that. Yes, I have had the typical runner's IT band injury. Yeah. About three years ago for six months. <laughs> And did it hurt your knees or was it just? I thought it was my knee that was injured. It felt like it was my knee. It was only the physio that sorted out that it was the IT band. I thought I had knee problems. Uh, relax. Yeah, I mean, it makes total sense. If that's tight there, it's going to be pulling on your kneecap. Your kneecap is a very delicate joint. And if it's getting moved around, it doesn't like that. It wants to just sit where it wants to sit right there. Um, okay, last one then of our holds, back into our frog. See if we can get a little bit deeper now the second time round. Three, two, one, and begin. Again, using your eyeballs. See about those positions, and then also really concentrate in on your pelvis. See if you can pull from those deep muscles about driving your knees out wide by pressing your pelvis to the floor and opening your pelvis as you do so. So at the moment it's our groin here that's being stretched we look at how our muscles work. They work in pairs usually, or you know, mostly pairs. So if we're trying to get our groin to relax and stretch out, we need to engage the opposing muscles. In this case, our uh, piriformis, our uh, glute uh, medius, and the deep muscles. And Ease back out of that. Oh, it hurts so good. Okay. Yeah. All right. So now that we have hopefully found our fullest 
range of motion. What we're going to do is try to engage the muscles in that end range. So what that would look like in our butterfly shape, we could go, uh, depending on where we're at, if we're here, we'd use our elbows to push against the knees, but we would uh, resist against them aggressively. So we'd really use the thigh to pull against. If we're a little bit wider, we gotta kind of grab our shins and push down, but then work up against the elbows. That all makes sense? Yep. Yeah. Wonderful, clear as mud. What we'll do? We'll do uh, a, a few holds. We're gonna do three, 30, uh, three 10 second holds. We're gonna count them out. We're gonna go in five, three, two, one. First hold, push up against those elbows. Push, 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 push. Is it really working that groin? Getting it to do its work. Three, two, one, and relax. Spread those legs out a little bit. I'm gonna go back into position again. Same idea. Five, three, two, one, and then push up against the elbows. Push, 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 push. Is our end range here really getting that groin to engage? Do some work. Three, two, one, and relax. Might even be feeling a little bit of hip flexor here. Your body will do kind of anything it can to, to fight back. All right, last one. In that position, grab those ankles and go. Push, 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 push. That's it, working hard, working hard. And time. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was uncomfortable. <laughs> so, with our frog stretch, we've already worked our groin. What we're going to do is try to encourage that butt and the deep muscles in there to do some work. So, here's what we're going to try. We're going to be in our frog position. Get nice and square to the camera. From there, we're going to try to lift this leg. There. Oh, mega cramp, fantastic. So if there was a measuring tape here between my knees, I'm trying to keep the same distance between my knees as I go to lift that foot and the knee and just enjoy that glorious, glorious cramp that's coming. Same idea as before, we'll try and do 10 seconds, um, but this time we'll do alternating sides. So we'll do 10 on one side, 10 on the other, short break, and we'll do that three times. All right. Three, two, one, and go. Four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah. <laughs> we'll do the other side. Three, two, one. Up we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, dear. Oh, who got a baby muscle there? I didn't even have my foot lifted off the ground. <laughs> <laughs> How's that, Joe and Andy? Yeah, it just feels hard to lift the leg. Yeah. Sure. Are you able to lift it okay? Yeah, the first five seconds is good. Then I start to cramp a bit, but I can sort of push through it. <laughs> yeah. So uh, ballet, in, in ballet, when they're looking at extending range of motion, they talk about leaning into the cramp. So like the fear is that the cramp won't go away, but it will. So all we got to do is lean into it. So it's cramping and we're just going to try and hold and push a little bit more. And then the cramp releases. 
but now we're on in that full position. It's really cool. Let's do two more on each side. Three, two, one. Leg up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my goodness, it's, it's so hard to count that, guys. My <laughs> word. <laughs> <sighs> okay, one final time. Three, two, one, and up we go. Knees as wide apart as you can. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. Three, two, one, and go. Eight, four, five, six, nine, ten. Whew. Not sure if you could actually uh, hear any counting there, if it's just short breaths, but we got there. <laughs> My word. So that is plenty of work for those muscles. Uh, I suspect tomorrow that might be a little bit uncomfortable. What we'll do is we'll finish off uh, with two final kind of bits. And uh, one really is for our obliques. So quite often when we're looking at our hips, um, yeah, we got to look at like, groin, butt, hip flexors, hamstrings, but then also that's all below the hip. If we also look above the hip, we've got our obliques here. As adults, we tend to have very stiff obliques because we don't do very much rotation work um, or twisty work. So uh, those stiffen up and then our rib cage becomes attached to our hips and we stop being able to like do all kinds of sexy things with our hips. So. We're going to go, uh, you can go kneeling, you can go standing, you can grab a weight, you can do it unweighted. Basic principle is we're going to try to go over to one side and back up. We'll do the same on the other side and back up. And if I show you that from the side, what we're looking for here is that nice straight line as you go over rather than reaching forward like that. Let's do 10 on each side. Reaching as far as you can, using your leg here as a measuring tape, seeing how far down you can go. Again, you may find one side slightly tighter than the other. I spent years doing a sport that involved rotation to one side. So I'm pretty good out to my right, but my left is somewhat stiffer. I'm just enjoying the stretches. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I lost count after two as well. <laughs> <laughs> tennis, tennis. Uh, rules are more like guidelines, eh? Uh, final thing we'll finish with then is our pancake. So, um, legs at 90 degrees. If I was to sit square to the camera, you could see that. And then from there, we're going to try and fold forward, reach down get as flat towards the ground as we can that might look like this okay if that's the case get our little podiums back scooch yourself up and we're trying to adjust that hip so instead of being tucked under we're trying to sit on our gooch 
the bit between your private parts and your butthole. That's it on that little bit. And then tilt forward from there, forward, 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 and down. Gonna go here for a minute and that'll do that'll be us. Give you an extra second just to get stuff if you need it. And begin. I know I said an extra minute, but too bad. <laughs> If all you're feeling this is your hamstrings, you can try moving your legs wider. If your legs just don't go wider, that's very unfortunate. Just get a bonus hamstring stretch. That'd be sweet. Where should you be feeling it? Groin, hammies. Okay. Lower, lower back. Where are you feeling it? Oh, like groin and hamstring. Oh, perfect. Good. Uh, be careful here with your toes. I don't want the big toes to roll in. I want them to roll, if any, were out. Um, so uh, that would be in. That would be out. Okay, up tall would be great. But that is for another day, because that is us done. Fantastic. Well done on our hips. Uh, see how you are tomorrow after that. I would suspect you're quite sore, uh, which is fine. It's a good sign. Um, I would suggest that that would be a uh, no more than once a week session if you are tackling that. Um, if you were to do that daily, I think that would be too much. Right.